Sugarcane stakeholders led by farmers in western region and local millers, heads of Farmers Association and Sugar Task Force, now fear that the influx of the commodity in the market will lead to collapse of the economy in the region, especially now that most of them have been affected by the coronavirus pandemic. Wycliffe Wangamati, who is a member of the Sugar Task Force, condemned the move, saying that opening of the importation window will impact negatively on the farmers. It is strange and a criminal for me to think that this movement of sugar from any quarter, it doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter whether it's Uganda or from Brazil or from commercial countries. But uh, what has come out clear from the more recent time, this morning and yesterday, is that we are informed. Right, you saw that the licenses for importing sugar were issued last week. He says lack of a nationwide availability of the local affordable sugar, especially along the porous borders, encourages seepage of illegal sugar into the country. We are buying cane from the farmers and we must pay them cash. How do we pay them cash? Yet there is already sugar, which has no import license, because the import license has come after the sugar is already in the market. That's the challenge we have. Kenya is currently a net importer of sugar, mainly from Comesa countries. The Comesa imports are duty-free, meaning that sugar is cheaper than the locally produced, giving incentives for more imports. The country is also a signatory to the Comesa Free Trade Agreement, which provides for quarter-free and duty-free access of all commodities from the member states. However, the influx of sugar from the member countries has proven to be a hurdle to the local producers, thereby urging the government to cushion them. Linda Koske, K24 Business.